Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. This video I'm gonna take you with me on my 10 day work stretch. It's going to be crazy, but I'm gonna show you all the things that I do to keep myself sane. Right, so this morning I already straightened my hair because you guys know how it goes, it look good, feel good. My body has felt so fatigued this morning. I actually thought that I was gonna come down with something like a sickness or an illness. Like even yesterday at work, I wasn't really feeling my best. Um, like I was getting body flashes, fever. So I took some ibuprofen and I was able to pull through because I was so close to like going home in the shift because I was feeling horrible. The same thing this morning. I wasn't feeling my best, but I just took the morning to recharge. I drank a lot of water, relaxed. I ate a lot of like food and snacks and just things that like felt good for my body and now I'm feeling fine. Um, it's crazy because I really was planning to ha have to call off today because I wasn't feeling great, but I'm feeling good. I think my body maybe just needed to rest. So let's have our coffee together. I have to leave work in about an hour. This is the smoothest robe, by the way. It says bride in the back. And I got it as one of the gifts for um, like my wedding. Like I think it was for my bridal shower. I got it as a gift and I got it as a gift twice actually. So I returned one of them and I have like store credit now at Nordstrom. And this one I kept cause it's just so soft. I really love this material. If you guys watch my girls chats, this is my favorite coffee. It's just a regular black coffee. And I like to use this oat milk from Costco. Let's have the first sip together. Oh, it's really good. All right, I have my water, my coffee. I'm just gonna sip on it so I can keep nourishing my body with caffeine for energy and also water to just stay hydrated in case I am coming down with something. I really don't think so. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to work. I think my body maybe was just exhausted. Okay, guys, I just relaxed a little bit and I was on the phone with my sister, which is why I didn't take you with me for my hair and makeup, but it's okay because I will do that in the upcoming snaps. But I literally just went ahead and put my hair back. I don't know how it looks, if it looks bad, what's in the back of my hair is none of my business, so whatever. Um, I just like slicked my hair, I did my skincare, and now I'm gonna go get dressed. So let's go get dressed together. Today I wanna pull out my pink scrubs. I have not worn these in a minute because I feel like they're a little bit obnoxious. Like, I don't wanna call them obnoxious, but I feel like they're a bit extra because my shoes are pink and my Stanley is pink and my Stanley cover is also pink. So I feel like I'm trying too hard or I look like I'm trying too hard even though I'm not. But I have not worn these in a while and I actually lost them for a period of time. So I'm gonna wear those all right so first and foremost i'm gonna fill up my water all right let's get some ice i'm gonna add some water into my stanley i'm gonna take my ibuprofen with me just in case i get like a, a fever or hot flashes i will use this so I'll put this in my pocket and let's head out and get ready for the day. Hi my loves, it's literally um, eight or nine hours after. It's um, after my shift, I'm just parked home. Just wanted to give you an update. This is the reality of it. Um, I had a, I, I don't wanna say a rough end of the shift, but something happened that really bothered me and I definitely did shed some tears over it. It wasn't like a big deal or anything, but I'm just really hard on myself. But anyways, I'm so happy I'm home. I can't wait. Um, I'm gonna probably just have some snacks with my husband or a salad. We actually have tabula salad, which we got from Trader Joe's. It's so good. I've gotten it before. I'm literally just gonna have that, drink a lot of water, and um, just have my beauty rest for tomorrow. Hey 
guys, it is currently the next day and I am going to run to work. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily late, I'm not, but I do want to make a stop at Plum Market because there are these fresh juices that I really want to get. So I want to have enough time to go get them. This is my outfit of the day, just some black shirt and jeans because today is casual Friday. Turned off all the lights, but these are the shoes that I'm going to be wearing. And these are the pants. I had a really good morning today. I told my husband about like the situation yesterday that made me upset and he encouraged me to talk to my supervisor. <laughs> so I am also trying to get mentally ready for the conversation I'm going to have. I was going to meet with, this, with my sister for a self-care night, but I didn't have time for that. So we're going to do that next week. Stay tuned. I think I'm going to go ahead and film it. But instead I went on a walk, which was amazing. Now let's get going because I'm running late. As you will not understand, I am so proud of myself because I was just put in a situation where I thought I was going to purchase this. I thought that this was $10. This is like a juice that I usually get from Plum Market. It's so good. It's so healthy for you. It has turmeric, lemon, ginger, um oil of oregano and two other ingredients that i don't know how to pronounce but anyways i looked at the receipt and i honestly i usually just don't look at the price tag which is bad but i looked at the receipt and it said 12 dollars okay and i like it only registered in my mind after i had left plum market so i kept thinking about it i'm like mm whatever maybe it's a tax or maybe like i'm mistaken then i go back and i look at the rack no this was in fact ten dollars so why did they charge me twelve dollars so so then i went ahead and asked about it and they said that this is a two dot there is an extra two dollar deposit so because I, this is a glass bottle i can bring it back and i can take my two dollars back and i'm so glad i asked because now i can keep these bottles and then I can return them every time I want to buy me a new bottle and not risk losing. I don't know about you guys, like sometimes I'm just so scared of like confrontation and then I'm thinking, oh, is there really like, why am I wasting my time going back and asking about it? What if it's going to take a lot of time? Like I would just like procrastinate and not do it and be lazy. I'm so happy that today I did it and I asked about it because even though it's just $2, it's like my two hard earned dollars and I'm just I'm just really proud of myself this may seem like very insignificant to some but like to me it's very important anyways I got this check it out if you have a plum market near you it's so good and so refreshing I feel like it helps my skin a lot I know it is pretty expensive so of course like I'm not saying get it every single day but try it at least once and you'll know what I'm talking about it's very fresh like if you would try to do the ingredients by yourself at home it's probably gonna cost you a similar amount because it's a lot of ingredients and it's a fresh juice. Anyways, I am gonna go to work. Wish me luck, you guys. I hope that it's a great day. This is two days after we meet again at the charging station. I'm charging my car and you guys, it is Sunday and at this point, it's not that I'm just like trying to stay alive, but I'm just trying to keep going and trying to conserve my energy. To give you an example, usually in the morning I try to do, you know, some things like go to go to the grocery store, I work out, I clean my apartment, whatever. I'm like somewhat productive. Today I could not do any of that. Um, I literally woke up and I was just chilling, trying to conserve my energy until I go to work. I actually have to be at work in two hours, but right now I'm just gonna charge my car real quick and then I'm gonna go visit my family, say hi. I have not seen them in so long and I really miss my mom so much. So I'm gonna go visit my mom and play with our cat Leo, then I'm gonna go to work. I have been working since Wednesday, you guys, and it's been a good week. Work is draining sometimes. It's such an art working with different people like all of these classes we took all of these lessons we took about working with different people working within a team it really does continue into adulthood i feel like like you know the projects at school and high school where you would work and you would feel like one person in the group isn't doing their part or you feel like you're doing the majority of the work a lot of these themes and patterns continue into adulthoods continue into the workforce even jobs like pharmacy where you have to get a professional degree it's a lot of the same themes so try to learn as much as you can from these classes you guys hello i'm doing a horrible job with vlogging because 
Um, today is Monday and I work through the weekend and I really don't think I've done much of vlogging because I've been just super tired. Like, let me be honest with you, after I come home from work, I'm just tired and exhausted and guess what? Today I worked for 14 hours, so let me just say it was a very tiring day and then I had one morning to myself where I made breakfast um, and I just enjoyed it with my husband, so that's how my week has consisted but i will take you guys with me i just have two more days and i really want to reward myself with like a self-care day um sometime soon because y'all i'm like very tired i'm running out of gas and i am ready to have a day off i'm ready to pamper myself i just i hope that all of this hard work is gonna pay off and i hope that eventually like when i do go on vacation and i take these you know days off that they're just gonna be the most amazing ever i really hope guys it's the day before my day off and i'm so excited i've been the worst vlogger at this point but honestly this is like i've done long work stretches before but this is the I feel like I've struggled the most in terms of like my energy outside of work basically like at work I am I have like all of my energy I'm feeling great I'm on top of everything I'm quick I am on top of my tasks I'm not tired like I'm d d going above and beyond even on like a lot of things and then I get home and I'm so tired and the next day I'm so tired and I'm trying to preserve my energy. So in terms of like work-life balance or like my life outside of work the past eight days, it has not been great because I was just so tired. It is so nice out. I'm currently driving to my dad and it's so fresh, so crisp. This is the first time I ever like, I don't know, loved the feeling of fall. I'm also so excited to see my dad. I haven't seen him in a minute. Um, I feel like just being at home recharges me. It makes me feel completely reset every time I go home and come back. So I'm very excited to go and see my dad. I am home and I don't know if I wanna have like extra breakfast or if I just wanna have literally these cookies cause I found these and these look like they would taste so good. Great, so let's go ahead and try this out. This is the grandma cookie. Ooh, it's one of the chewy ones. very good and my trick is with cookies put them in the microwave for 15 seconds and they're gonna come out so good they're gonna come out like they just came out of the oven put in for a little too I love how like the chocolate is gonna melt and it's gonna taste so good so let's give it a try So good, the perfect pick-me-up, seriously. My favorite feeling ever, and you'll relate to this if you work or you're in school or whatever, is if when you're having a long day and then someone brings in some sort of food, like like small um, brownies or cookies and they bring them to work and you had the longest day, you forgot to bring you your lunch and you go into the break room and you see the food and your day is just immediately so much better. That's the best feeling. And it just, it, it elevates my mood. It's just the best feeling ever. So I wanna bring it this weekend cause I am working. I wanna get some cookies and I really wanna get some Indian pizza cause I love the team I work with, especially on the weekend. So I think I wanna be that person to spark the joy. Oh my gosh, I am in my old room. It feels so nice and cozy. I really miss my space. But you guys, can I tell you something I'm proud about? I know I mentioned a few days ago, something happened at work that really irritated me. I'm really proud of myself because I ended up bringing it to my supervisor and not in a way to get anyone in trouble by any means. And I prefaced it because me, when I bring things up, it's always to like make sure it doesn't happen again or if it happens again, to then to know exactly what the expectation is, who is responsible for what. So I'm just really proud of myself that I brought it up to my supervisor. Old me would have probably thought, oh, it's not a big deal or um, wait until it happens next time, then I'll say something. But now I'm in a point in my life where I have like a zero tolerance policy when it comes to me. If anything happens, if I'm like disrespected in a way, if like if someone talks to me wrong, I'm not going to just let it slide. Like, like literally almost never I'm not going to let it slide. 
I will say something back. My tone will change immediately. Um, I will put people in their place and I've noticed that multiple occasions and I want to say that's what happens when you get fed up and it's not a good feeling to be fed up. So I think it's just a good practice. Like if something is wrong or someone says something to you wrong or someone does something wrong, like either bring it up to someone who can do something about it or correct them in that moment speak up for yourself because you never want to go home and wonder oh why did i not say this why did i not act this way no oh my god it's a whole box of pictures are these all the pictures i've been looking for i may or may not cry looking into these but i just love looking at old memories so i'll see you guys in the next clip Every time I look at like old pictures and like you know videos of when we were kids I really just miss my my grandmas and just like having a lot of family over because obviously now I don't have that like I'm not with either of my grandmas and it's just really sad because I love and miss them so much should have known better not to look at these because I knew I would get emotional just like I always do you guys would know this if you're like away from your family or like if you had to evacuate your home country or if you like immigrated out of your old country you know it's just such a lonely feeling when you're in a different country because you literally don't have family like you're here and then these memories that you have like when you were younger when you were with your grandparents just become so special so always cherish that and if you're in it right now and if you currently have that then just cherish it as much as you can Hello, you could buy. Hello. 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 <laughs> You're such a long one. Hello. Who's this one? <laughs> Who's this one? Guys, look at how long he is. He's a cat that likes his independence. All right, I am about to leave home and you guys, refreshed is an understatement. This is your sign to spend time with your family because I feel so refreshed, you guys. And then before going to work, I was feeling like drained, empty, irritated, like overworked. Good morning, my loves. It is finally my day off and you guys, you have no idea how much I need it. My husband didn't wake me up in the morning. He let me sleep and I naturally woke up at 11.30. Not gonna lie, even though I woke up late, my body still felt tired and I still struggled to get out of bed. But I'm just so excited to see my sister. I haven't spent time with her or hung out with her in at least a week. So I miss her so much and today I just have so many amazing things planned so I'll take you with me. And this is my outfit for today. It's a really cute two-piece set that I got from Calvin Klein. It's so perfect. I work out in it sometimes and then other times it's just an easy two-piece outfit you can wear like when you're on the go. It's really cute. If you guys have seen Totally Spies, it kind of looks like a Totally Spies outfit. Like, And purple was Mandy's color if you watched Totally Spies. So I'm repping a Mandy today and that is okay. I got water when you first wake up in the morning, especially cold water, feels so nice. Um, is it just for Okay, let's do a um, taste test. This is called morning meditations, and what's in it? Like beets, turmeric. Turmeric. It's really healthy for you, and you guys know I love turmeric. It's so good for you. Ooh, so refreshing. This is exactly what I need in the morning. I give it a hundred out of ten. It's so good. <laughs> Okay. See guys, I'm human, I cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my the god. The sister chats are so real. Yeah. That's They're so real. But I'm a cute crier, I think. You are. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished from the breakfast. That was much needed. Like, my soul needed some time with my sister. I really missed her 
so freaking much i think i want to spend the day doing a lot of self-care so i think i'm actually gonna go now to my home so i can spend some time with my dad and then i'll also journal my journal make me a little to-do list and go from there me a new notebook the other day to journal in so it's brand new and it matches all the other journals i have like i try to get the same type of journals when i get journals so that they match and when i store them they look pretty so i got me a brand new one so i'm gonna do some journaling and planning out my day I just finished journaling outside. It was so nice because the sun was shining and it, it got me to a really zen state. I feel just amazing to say the least, but I am needing a little bit of a physical activity. So I decided to fill up my water and go on a little walk. I'm not gonna have any electronics with me. So I will not be taking um, my camera to vlog, but I'm just gonna go on a walk for like 30 minutes and i'm not gonna have any music in i'm not gonna listen to podcasts literally just me one with nature um i feel like we all need that every now and again and of course the only thing i'm gonna have with me is my stanley because you gotta stay hydrated i just went into my sister's room for a little bit of refreshing this is the perfume we're gonna refresh with miss dior this brand right here it's a nurse who literally gets this like body butter from her goats. Is it her goats or like? Yeah, her goats. From her goats, like literally self-made, a small business, and it smells so good and feels so nice and buttery on the skin. He's like, his, <laughs> the way he's purring and the how soft he feels literally is the best pillow ever. So long. He's just a baby. Okay, I just did my makeup with my sister's makeup and guys, let me show you. Very subtle, but I feel like it's very it girl coded. We had such an amazing dinner. Mama made us tashrib and if you guys know, tashrib is so good. So I ate that, I spent time with my mom, chatting and whatnot, and tomorrow we're actually gonna have a spa day, me and Mina. So I think I'm gonna have that on a different vlog, where we're gonna get a massage and a facial, so I'm really excited for that. But now, it is tea time. It's just your traditional tea that you would have at any Arabic household. So this is the best. I like it more than creamer or any milk. This is Nido whole milk. So good. This is what I used to drink when I was a kid. And this is still what I drink now. I put at least two spoonfuls. I'm not telling you this is the healthy, the healthiest thing ever. And I'm not telling you this is the healthiest option. But I am telling you that it's the most delicious option. One of the best feelings is getting your car washed. I feel like every time I get my car washed, I have my life together. So satisfying. My loves, you have made it to the end of the vlog. I just want to thank you so much for spending not only pretty much the day with me today, but also my week. I hope that it gave you a good insight of how a normal week is like in my life and you saw the ups and the downs and you saw how I pretty much got to recharge for another five days of working. I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul but everything that's in here is actually a surprise and a part of a future video. But I will show you is that I stopped by at Meyer and I got me the still pickle chips. OMG, it's so good. Absolutely one of my favorite chips. Anyways, my loves, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm just gonna spend the night tidying up, showering and getting ready for bed and getting ready for my spa day tomorrow. Love you so much and I'll talk to you later.